Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Vagris the Riven Realms. Today we're going to try and claim the Glyph of the Seeker from the library. So that's the plan. We will enter the tower, enter the lower levels, and now we will go into the library. We've knocked off the study hall, the dormitory, the lecture hall. So this is the last one for us. You take your companions up the long marble stairs and emerge into a large hall from which dozens of paths diverge. Corridors cloaked in darkness, spiral stairwells leading up or down, and archways opening into spacious chambers. What is common to all of them is that each and every space is filled with tall shelves laden with books, stone tablets, and scrolls, a clear sign that you are in the library. The once magnificent collection looks neglected and worn. A fine layer of dust covers most surfaces, and many volumes and sheets are lying on the ground, or in places where they have no business being. A strange cold permeates the hall, and you get the impression that you have stepped into a different world. It is as if time has stopped moving in this place altogether. Should that not make you uneasy, the faded echoes that remind you of sighs and the creaking of shelves coming from certain directions certainly do. The pathways leading from here to the rest of the library are beyond count. The shifting nature of the tower's interior makes any attempt at mapping it futile, so the question is, will you take one of the paths nonetheless and delve into the maze beyond? We will... Take the typical squad. And on we go. As you finish climbing a set of stairs, you emerge into a spacious dark room. There is a low rumbling sound emanating from the floor below. To make matters more peculiar, you feel as if something is lurking unseen watching you. You order your companions to fan out and explore the chamber, but it turns up nothing, leaving you confused and confounded. Keep exploring. Found nothing. Keep exploring. Consider what to do. Explore deeper. <laughs> oh! Exploring and wandering these ever-shifting halls and corridors is disorienting and discomforting at the very least. No wonder one is bound to let down their guard every once in a while. You step into an empty hall that feels very much, much smaller than it looks, and suddenly an uneasy sensation descends upon you. Relying on magic sense, an invisible anomaly of arcane origin is revealed right in the middle of the hall. It is constantly reeling, collapsing in on itself, gently drawing you towards its center. You press against the wall to keep as far from the anomaly as possible. As you inch along the wall, you can feel the strengthening pull. To your relief, you all manage to get out of the hall as its far side, at its far side and leave the anomaly behind. So there's like a black hole in the middle of the hallway. The unnatural unease lifts as you get further away and resume your journey. We are still in control. Consider our next move. Consider de delving deeper. Knowledge of the arcane. We succeeded against the trap. Continue exploring the library. We stole some more crystal lamps. Fantastic. We are still resilient. Continue. Alright, our people are not happy but we got some lamps so that's that's a good start to the day so we'll have to go back rest up real quick oh just a second all right end the day exchange for news i think we're good crew wise so let's go ahead and head back into the tower explore the lower levels enter the library pick a direction I will say, even though it is a little repetitive, the Sunken Tower, it is very easy to just, like, fly in and out of the thing and not really get too slowed down by having to read the narrative over and over. Explore the library. You ascend a spiraled staircase into a new room and suddenly sense that something is off, almost as if an obscured hazard of magical origin is present. It is a trap. Keep going. You enter a small offshoot of a greater library hall where you find a book, find that the books sitting in the display cabinets were preserved in relatively good condition. Upon a more focused investigation, it turns out that several books could be in indeed insightful. Insight, maybe? <laughs> Peruse them. The volumes are various academic treatises and scholarly deliberations on the outer realms. You find plenty of good reading material along which is the harrowing account by a realm's walking ogre about the imminent fall of Karad Run and how their god Archon is aiding the city's defenders to cling on to a bleak existence in constant war. The besiegers are demons, a whole legion of them spawned from the abyss. 
The date of the imprint puts this book's creation about a century before the Calamity, and the writer expresses doubt about the ultimate fate of the Ogres. You also learn that apart from a handful of chance encounters like the one described in the volume, the race of Pale Giants was largely a mystery to the Empire of the Third Age, since access to the Outer Realms was almost non-existent. It is also suggested that magical research in that direction was largely discouraged, if not outright banned, by the Elven Mages. Well, we've met Ogres, and we also have walked... Uh in the outer realms <laughs> so let's take the book explore deeper still in control okay emerging into a hall your sight is immediately drawn to a spectral figure who is sitting in the middle of the room behind a long desk with a large stack of books beside her she looks up as you enter her expression one of disdain and disapproval you yes you Come here at once, she says, her voice full of contempt. Something about her compels you, and so you do. Drawing closer, she speaks once more. I've been told that you have several overdue books. Flavius's Incantatus, The Fundamentals of Growing Plants, and Ophalus's Grimoire Magnus, Volume 3. The time has come for you to return those, lest I tell the professors. And we do not want that, now do we? You have not encountered the book she mentioned, you are, and you are trying to come up with something to soothe the spirit. Let's give her an arcane text in the hope that she accepts them instead. She takes it, and inspecting it for a time, you and your companions wait patiently before the spectral woman eventually clears her throat. This shall suffice, pupil, though you should not think that you can simply take books at your leisure. These books belong to the library, to me. Do you understand? Good. Now away with you, lest I lose my temper again she says, and before one sh once more shifting her attention to a document on the desk, her manner indicates that she does not wish to be disturbed further. You take your leave of the woman in this hall. Fast. <laughs> there goes the arcane text. Uh, keep this descending. Onward. Explore. Onward. Hey, spectral residue. Uh, further? Okay, they are not in charge. All right, I like to give them... Two shots at at going back, and then we push further on the third day. We still have plenty of supplies, so I'm not super concerned about uh, like taking extra days to rest. Back in, back into the library. Same crew as before. We haven't actually fought anybody yet, so there's no need to really mix up the squad. Exploring, exploring. Deeper, transient, just like speed running the tower. Spectral residue, sweet. Uh, defy the magical monster. We did. Ignore them. Okay. We. <laughs> it's, I guess you have to push one deeper in order to get whatever it is you want, because we had to do that last episode to get the spec the scepter. I keep saying specter and scepter and interchangeably. After what feels like an eternity spent in the same three rooms repeating time after time, you stumble into a chamber with leather-bound books strewn all over the floor. Indeed, the shelves along the walls had been all but emptied. Whatever the culprit was looking for is not clear, but at least you have no clue as to who could have done it either. One shelf is untouched, however, and your attention is drawn to it right away because it has some crystals sitting on it in a row. Not just raw pieces either, but delicately carved memory crystals imbued with thoughts and sensations of people from the time before the calamity you take all the undamaged ones and even find one that seems larger and more elaborately carved than the others the box in which it lies has a sentence carved on it in old imperial that can be translated as glyph formulae collected by lurthon clairvoyance 2874 this memory crystal will require a crystal mancer to experience as it is too complex for casual viewing we leave the chamber with our prize and decide what to do next uh we will leave so did we get the crystal? Aha! So we have to take the crystal to a crystal mancer, which we know one in Lumen. Uh, we still have to wait until... Is it month two? I think it's month two. Or is it month one? <laughs> I don't remember. I forgot when we... I, I'm assuming they'll tell me when this is ready. Um... Ah, so yeah, we we haven't got claimed the glyph yet, but I assume once we we uh, talk to the crystal mancer, we'll be able to get that. So head up, 
return to our comitantes and uh, rest for today. All right. Well, we were that was pretty successful, pretty quick overall, and we didn't get cursed. It's always a good day when you don't get cursed. Ah, so now is the time to show off the new the new tech. So let's go ahead and rest and watch. Look at that! You can just double click. You don't have to uh, click here and then hit the button. You can just be like, no, I definitely want you to go here. So that's pretty neat. Uh, divert your course from the stranger. I don't know who that is or what their deal is. Nice little quality of life thing. The devs of, of Vagras are really, really nice people. They, they do a great job with the game. They care a lot about the game. And uh, I've had nothing but good interactions with them. So if you're like looking for an active dev community on a game that you think is really interesting, highly recommend. You can't go wrong with this one, unless you don't like the game, in which case you could go wrong with this one. <laughs> There's nothing to hide. Into Larnac we go. We still have plenty of food. Um, so I think we'll probably just go to Mirage and then do the Crystal Lumen route so we can hit the Crystal Mancer on the way. Uh, and then we'll hit Torres Egg Shelter. And maybe we'll, instead of running straight back to the Sunken Tower, um, we might want to divert up to uh, the Abandoned Colony and try to help Ren out with that. And then maybe by then our, our outpost will be done and we can pop in, the, in there too. We'll see how the, the timing works out. Let's see. Any Anything you guys would like me to take to Mirage, Crystal, Lumen, or Torres Egg Shelter uh, is fair game here. Not any of the places mentioned. Ah, here we go. 11 from the House of Inari, which is like my preferred house to do business with. So let's do some sorting of our food here. Why don't we take this one? This one's a good option as well. And it doesn't look like there's actually anything else. So we might as well take it. And then, f like, food here is expensive. And it's usually... I mean, it's always cheaper in Mirage. So honestly, let's not buy anything else. We should probably buy the two mounts. And what are we up to? 676. And you take 87. So I think if we get two more... Um... What are you guys? Just insect mounts? If we get two more mounts, I think we can drop one more beast of burden. Because we're up to 676. We just need 11 more. So... Because you guys carry 87, right? Yeah, 87. Each one carries 9. So yeah, two more will be 18. Okay. So let's go ahead and rest for today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take the Servant of Sergarad. Why not? Get some bonus points with the church. Head out into the wasteland. And call it a day. Go up this way. I think we can go this way and then around that way. Normally I go up this way, but I think it's probably roughly the same. All things considered. I've still been using the foot symbol because like, I just have the muscle memory uh, associated with click click rather than double click. I'm sure I'll relearn how to do things. One shy of being able to, or two shy of being able to march into Mirage yesterday, but that's fine. Okay, so we can get more food here, but before we do, let's just consider what our options are. We do have the option of this, but we'd have to drop stuff in order to get... Well, but we only have five days worth of food. So we'd be real hand-to-mouth all the way to Torres Egg Shelter. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Five days is not too bad, especially if we're traversing the crystal forest. So let's go ahead and just do it. It'll be a little expensive to 
um, buy supply a little more expensive, I should say, to buy supplies in crystal and lumen. But I think we'll make up for it in having um, I'm gonna force march a little early in having um, brought along that extra supply run here. So let's go ahead and uh, max out our supplies. We'll rest here. Anybody? Torzeg? Sure. Why not? Come along. All right. Get some free vigor. Swap out your equipment. Shield crystal. Sunglasses. All right. Leave. Cross the crystal field. Swap out your crystal. I mean, we're going to be putting it back on in a second, but that's fine. Now, do we want to bother forest marching? I don't think we do. But let's try and get some free supplies. Ah, crit fail, but a crit success as well. We're going to drop the hide because we're full on stuff. Rough. Unfortunate. <laughs> Lost vigor. Oh, come on, you guys. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, we'll fight some orcs. They're not too tough. Go ahead. And they've kind of reorganized all of this stuff, too. You can you can just click on things instead of activating them. You don't have to click activate and then click back. Um, so that's it's just nice little uh, quality of life things. All right, spend our, our renown or resourcefulness. And then uh, we'll boost our defense here by mounting up some of our fighters. Right, 10 seems to be good. Fight. Round one. Go. I think orcs are probably the toughest. Well, undead are pretty rough too, honestly. I was going to say, I think orcs are like the toughest thing to fight outside of the sandworms but he lived you bugger all right he died um outside of the sandworms but the undead because they're unrelenting and don't retreat is are also pretty rough even though like fighting them one-on-one -on -one is fairly easy oh yikes we'll just we'll just chop you guys down Unlucky. Go ahead and debuff the whole front front line here. See if we can get lucky with a cheeky cleave. We did. Go ahead and try to kill this guy at the back since he'll try to rush forward and burn, like, you know, knock Gorgor to the back line or something. The worst one is when they knock Elani to the back line. Ow! A crit for two is. It's always like. Uh, th th what did I say? Uh, it's always ironic when you get a crit for two and uh, like the shake of the camera makes it seem like it's so much worse than it actually is. All right, another cheeky cleave. Now, nah, let, maybe let's just try to execute this dude. Ah, man, they've got four. They've gotten really lucky with their, their resurrections. That guy comes forward. That guy misses. That guy burned to death, so that's not too concerning. Let's try to kill this guy on the right. All right, Sidarius has finished it. <laughs> you evil man. All right, he's dead for sure now. And then fireball? Good job. I think that was six for six on resurrections from the orcs. Retreating? What What did they do? We succeeded. They took some of my chitin, some of my bright kelp, and some of the supplies. Which, none, none of those are mine. So I really should try to pursue them. Let's give it a shot. Ah, it didn't really work. We got more people injured because of it. Alright. Don't let my mounts die. Conscript? Yeah, why not? All right, the mounts lived, and then one person died. But we got two fighters out of it, so... A net positive. Ah, they took one chitin and one bright kelp. 
that's fair. We can we can deal with that. Ah, oh, we can't take any of the stuff. We'll take the scrap metal. That's fine. Um, do I think we have enough to force march tomorrow? To get to to Lumen. I think. No, we definitely do. So let's swap out our gear. Thank goodness I like bothered min-maxing the small distance between the the crystal forests. Sometimes I'll just like gun it across the the space and not bother switching out my equipment. Not today, fools. Oh, we don't even have to forest march. Lucky us. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just ditch the scrap metal. Like, it's useful if you go all the way out to Avernum, but otherwise it's just kind of a pain. I kind of think we should buy one Bright Kelp to fit, fill out the stuff that we lost. There's no Chitin to buy, but I think we can get Chitin in Torzeg Shelter. Passengers. All right, nobody we're looking for. We do need to get a li the rest of the supplies to be able to get to Torres Egg Shelter. So, six days worth should be good. And then let's go talk to the Crystal Mancer, Shabeni, so we can look at the memory crystal. You have a memory crystal. Perhaps she can help you experience its contents. You inform Shabeni that you found this cri There's two of them. <laughs> you found this cri memory crystal in the sunken tower, but you have been unable to view its contents due to its complexity. The sorceress smiles mysteriously and takes a good look at the relic. After a few moments, she nods and confirms that you have been expecting. The crystal contains magical glyphs from ancient times. These are, for the most part, useful for experienced mages, she adds. You ask her if the glyph of the Seeker is among the ones contained in the crystal, and she nods in confirmation. Yes! I didn't even think that it could have not had the, <laughs> the memory in it. Is that something you've been looking for? She asks you. I can glean the glyph and write it on a scroll, otherwise it won't be useful to you. An inaccessible memory crystal and all that. You ask her for, f for her fee. In reply, she holds up the crystal. I get to keep it, she smiles. You won't be able to use any of the other glyphs anyway. Once you agree to this course of action, Shabeni disappears into her workshop while you wait outside. She returns about a quarter of an hour later with a scroll containing the glyph of the Seeker, an elaborate mystical symbol etched onto magical paper with imbued ink. One more thing can be crossed off your list. Sick! Nice! So now we just have to go to the crystal archives and claim the memory crystal of Preceptor Parhassus. Awesome. What do you have for sale? When's the last time I've even bothered looking at this? Could buy a crystal lamp. Sure. I think I need those for my outpost, so <laughs> I will buy them. Um, all right, we have to rest because we are out of movement. Uh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just get Vigor. Everybody heal up from the orc battle. Go ahead and leave the settlement. Our movement is low. Oh, it's because I haven't unequipped the magical crystal. That's right. Apex combat. Turkey intense. One more movement we got. And then rest. I did not grab more food before I left, which I should have. But I think we'll be okay. So we have three days, and it usually takes two days from this crossroads, I think. And we, it, worst comes to worst, we could always force march to Torres Eggs, but I don't think we'll have to, because we'll be able to reach there tomorrow. Ta-da! Just the right amount of food. Road tax. F off. Nice try. Approach the guards, nothing to hide. Trade license, in we go. Drop off the tradesmen. Turn in our, all our missions. Swimming in silver. Fantastic news. All right, it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but I think what we'll do today is I'll pause here and then I'll bring us up to Arkin and then we can help Ren seek out the dark knowledge uh, next episode. So, if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more episodes of Vagris, the Riven Realms, or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!